nagtataka ako. Deep Cool released their excellent LS720 cooler 6 months ago and now they're back with the LT series. On the surface, there doesn't seem to be too much difference. Both use an in-house design 4th gen pump with a 3-phase 3100rpm motor with improved micro channels for better coolant flow. So is this just a cash grab move? A cosmetic change on an already good product? Or has Deep Cool engineered their way to even better cooling results with their LT series? What's up, Internet? Deepool was kind enough to send us their newest AIOs. And to be honest, when they do this, usually kinakabahan ako because usually we find their products to be so reliable and such good value for money Now we end up stocking them in the shop. Deepool is usually aces when it comes to both performance and price. That's what we found out when we reviewed the LS720 five months ago. That's what we found out when we reviewed the AK620 and the AS500 Plus. And dami na products na na modus kami ni Deepcool na ganito. Oi, review mo man to. And then we ended up liking them so much that we bought them for the shop. Wala pa tong 6 months tong LS720. But we're going to use the latest CPUs, Ryzen 7700X, which infamously already runs at a uh, steady 95 degrees. So, ramdam na ramdam mo talaga kung hindi kaya ng cooler mo yung CPU na to. Our testing setup consists of an Ryzen 7 7700X with an ROG Strix X670E Gaming Wi-Fi MOBO and T-Force Vulkan DDR5 RAM with EXMP enabled with an EVGA Supernova 1200P powering everything. We then ran Cinebench R23 for 30 minutes on 100% load and recorded the max average temperatures reached. It's a bit tricky doing cooler reviews using the 7000 series as the CPUs automatically try to push the systems up to 95 degrees to be able to achieve their advertised CPU speed. So temperature isn't the only factor to take into consideration in coolers for Ryzen 7000. You also need to check if there was thermal throttling. Kung bumagal ba yung CPU because the cooler couldn't cool it quickly enough. A cooler getting 95 degrees on a 7000 series CPU isn't necessarily a bad cooler. As long as you're still able to get the advertised speed of that 7000 series CPU. As mentioned, we pitted the LT series against two other coolers from Deepcool that we already know are very good performers. The AS500 Plus Air Cooler and the LS720 AIO. Actually, all of these coolers are so good that none of them had thermal throttling. So kahit gano pa kainit yung 7700X, walang problema. The CPU did not slow down with any of our deep cool coolers tested. But there were clear differences in temperature between the four. The worst performing was the AS500 Plus with an average temp of 93 degrees and a max temp reached of 94 degrees. Sakto dun sa sweet spot na gusto nung Ryzen 7000 series. With very similar results is the L720, average temperature of 92 degrees with highest temp recorded just north of 95 degrees. Again, this is the 7700X ramping all the way up to its max speed and the cooler being able to handle all of the heat generated by that activity. Pero yung nakakagulat dito, yung LT series. Both the LT520 and LT720 performed significantly better than the AS500 Plus or the LS720. Pero yung weird, sobrang similar nung numbers nila. The LT520 had an average temperature of 86.5 degrees and max temp reached of 88.9 degrees. The LT720 had an average temp of 87 degrees, so even slightly hotter than the LT520, and the same max temp reached of 88.9 degrees. Great showing from both LT coolers, but what's going on here? Shouldn't the 360mm rad LT720 outperform the 24mm rad LT520? I think this is a consequence of using a 7000 series CPU for this test. As mentioned, the 7000 series keeps gobbling up power and generating heat, but once they've reached their desired speed, they don't go any further. The amount of heat generated stabilizes. The LT520 and LT720 virtual tie implies that we need to throw something even hotter at them to see their performance difference. As it stands now, the Ryzen CPU is happy to get up to its max speed and then it doesn't push past that, so it doesn't generate more heat. 
something we can take a look at more in the future, say when we have an Intel 3900K lying around. Pretty amazing result though for both LT coolers, in particular the LT520 channel to 7700X furnace with relative ease. Aside from performance, there are a couple of things to take note. The CPU block slips off for easier installation, but is securely fastened when you slip it back into place. There is a redesigned RGB front based on playing with more infinity mirrors. It's an interesting effect, but that's up to individual taste, so I'll leave that up to you kung type mo yun or hindi. Lastly, this does come with a 5-year warranty, which is roughly in keeping with the other warranty periods of even more high-end coolers. I highlight this info as even now with AIOs fairly ubiquitous, there's still a subset of customers who are wary about them breaking down and are assured by the long warranty period. Sad to say, baka mabudol ulit kami because the performance of the LTAIOs is just superb. I can imagine us stocking it in the shop and even pitted against its own cousins, particularly yung AS500+. Plus. Nung lumabas yung AS500+, Plus, sobrang na-amaze kami because based on our measurements as well as those of other reviewers, it even beat out Noctua's famous and venerable NHD15 air cooler. So mataas talaga tingin namin sa AS500+. Plus. And while that cooler was able to keep up with the 7700X, just barely. Talagang nandun na sa ceiling na inaasahan mo for that CPU. In comparison, itong bagong LT520, the smaller 240mm rad version of this LT series, kayang-kaya niya without any problems. More so, the larger LT720. So we're giving both 4.5 candies out of 5. Deepcool just keeps batting these things out of the park. It's really hard to go wrong, especially with their coolers. Yung 0.5, parang baka di mo lang gusto yung aesthetic. There are certainly flashier coolers out there. But if you want dead to rights performance with a very decent price, it's hard to go wrong with Deepcool, especially with these new LT AIOs. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted, yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang Hardware Sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent table management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up-to-date yung inventory dun. Kung in-stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days, magkita tayo sa shop.